So if I realize that this shop, when I go that they are racist, ciao, you're not, you're not seeing my money or this pretty face again. Welcome back to La Deutsche Vita, live in Germany, made in Germany. My name is Phoebe and some weeks back I shared with you my experience on racism and today on La Deutsche Vita um, I'm going to share with you how I deal with racism and basically what racism has done with some of my thinking, um, yeah, basically, yeah, and how I deal with it, basically, how I just push myself beyond the racism thing, right? So one thing I've realized is that racist people want me to feel less of a person because of the color of my skin and that had led me to that has led me to um, accept this I am enough as a person the color of my skin is not some kind of deformity it doesn't devalue me it doesn't make me less of a human being I can do anything that I put my mind to and whatever I, that is on my heart to get, I go out and get it. So I don't see this color of my skin as, a, as an obstacle, as they want me to feel. Because once you feel like, oh, because of the color of my skin, I won't get it, it already reduces your dreams. Like, you, you kind of put your dreams back to fit what they would allow you to do. Honey, you don't have that power in my life. I am not going to give you that power for you to to influence how I choose what I want and what I do not want. No. I am a full human being and my rights are my rights. My dreams are valid the way they are to me. So if my dream is to become an astronaut, I'm an astronaut, I'm not going to think um, if, if I apply, I wouldn't get it because... No, 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 no. I'm going to apply because I'm qualified. End of story. Um, another thing is, and also in conjunction to that, when I go out, because I'm a full human being, I'm normal just like any other person. I am not going to put, um, I'm not going to treat other people better than me or worse than me. That is also another thing. So as I am expecting equality, I also give equality, okay? I am not going to treat others better and I'm also going to stay away from stereotyping people based on the color of their skin or where they come from. I deal with people individually because this is how I want to be treated as well. Another thing that I I have consciously started is that I will stay away from every everything that is supposed to make me feel less of a human being or any person is supposed to, that is trying to make me feel less of a human being, any institution that is going to let me feel uh, let me that wants me to feel less of a human being, I'm staying away from you. And if that means putting my coins elsewhere that is what i will do so if i realize that this shop when i go that they are racist ciao you're not, you're not seeing my money or this pretty face again and, and another thing is that as i said that i'm complete i'm not going to change anything about me um, i'm not going to i'm not going to um tune my life to doing things that please the people who want me to look like them or who who are going to treat me worse because I want them to treat me better. No, these people, you can't heal them. So if I want to wear braids, before I, I was like, oh, if you wear braids, um, it makes you too African. No, 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 no. We we'll wear them. I wear my hair out, my natural hair, I wear it out. When I feel like I want to switch up my look, or I want to do protective styling, I wear, I'm wearing a wig, it's because I want to wear the wig because I'm protecting my hair, or I want a new look, but not because I want to look occasion, because, you know, balance. It doesn't make sense okay that is one thing that I have actively started working on to accept that I as a person I as with my looks with my heritage it is correct it is fine it is normal okay this is how I come because imagine a Caucasian will not come to Africa or Ghana and be like oh I, I want to be I want to do everything the way Ghanaians do she would he or she would pick what works for him or her in Ghana and what works for him him or her from their home country and that is exactly what I'm doing mixing and blending okay and one one other thing that I have also started is well back when I was growing up here um, I wasn't able to have these conversations with my friends because I didn't feel like they understood my heart my struggle 
they didn't understand what I was battling with, especially with the math teacher and everything. They were like, hmm, hmm, maybe it's just you, but honey, no. And if you're watching this and you, I went to high school with you and I was sitting with you and I was complaining and you weren't taken seriously, I don't blame you too much because maybe we were too young or you were too young and you're not matured enough about it. But today, if you're watching this, set this iron. I mean, fight for it. Um, equality for your friends who are being treated bad fight for minorities as well I mean by now we should be old enough to speak up and um, that's that's on the side but personally if somebody wants a conversation if somebody wants a discussion a healthy discussion I will give it and when it, it turns to a debate or some kind of discussion where the person is bringing arguments that you feel are not valid calm down do not lose your cool because once you start discussing, you have to stay objective and once you get emotional, you lose control over the whole um, discussion or your control over the discussion. So I'm always going to calm down, stay calm and calmly state my points. That is it because once you, once you start getting agitated, the objective side of the whole conversation changes. Okay, so try as much as possible to stay calm. When I'm going out, I don't go out looking out for who is going to treat me wrong or who is going to be racist to me. I don't do that. I just go out with my aim of getting things done and I come back home. So for me to actually notice somebody being racist to me, it means you wanted me to see it. And if, since you let me know that you wanted me to see it, then I decide whether you are worth it. Because some people, the thing is, you can't change somebody who is bent on being hateful. You just walk past or somebody else will deal with them for you. Kudos to those people. But apart from that, um, I, I choose my battles because at the end of the day, it is what you're allowed to get into you that will um, project what will come out of you, right? And if you let this ruin your day, if you let this spoil your mood, they won't. So I choose my battles and I just get get it going and as i say as i said um if it's something that is going to block some kind of chance for me i speak up I, i'll ask my questions and i'll ask for objective answers and if they cannot give you that i will report honey i will report i will and i will let what they think like influence my life i live my best life I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to live my life full of positivity. And hey, these are just the challenges that come with being a black woman. And I don't let that limit me in any way. That's what that's actually the core of this mess, this video. I won't be limited by what other people think of me. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, let me know. Let me know what you think. How do you how do you deal with with racism and how do you as as a person of minorities as a person of color deal with racism guys see you same time next week with a new topic okay ciao